Hey Taurus, this will be you guys reading from the 12th through the 15th. No, through the 18th, I'm sorry. What do we got for Taurus from the 12th through the 18th? So a lot of you are waiting for something or someone. You guys are feeling tired of a situation and it could have something to do with your family. Um, this can be you guys are waiting for a situation about your family to heal or you guys are working on that. You guys have a situation with your emotions during this time. And I don't feel like it has too much to do with love. You guys could have a love interest and this love interest is someone that you may have trust issues with due to the fact that you have had your problems with your family or a family situation you guys will find it hard to open up to this person you guys will find it hard to accept this lover right you guys are going to find it hard to accept this lover and you may not be in a very flirtatious mood <laughs> for a lot of you around the if it did not start today around the 13th your energy is going to shift i don't really know why i have not looked up like the moon cycles and all that stuff but i just get the feeling that you guys your energy is going to shift right and it's going to shift for me it seems like your energy is going to shift into more of um being a bit pessimistic you guys are going to feel attracted to whoever this new lover is. But I just feel like you guys are going to have a tough time accepting the attraction. Maybe you guys fear that there is not really an attraction there. You could fear that this person isn't that attracted to you. And then we have healing family issues is coming out again. So you guys during this time, you may feel empty. You may feel even with your person, even with your partner, you may still feel this emptiness in your heart, all right? And that is because you guys have family issues that you need to heal before you can accept this soulmate that is currently in your life or this person will be coming into your life. For a lot of you, this person is someone that you already know, all right? I do not feel like this is a brand new energy. I feel like there's a new level to your relationship or connection with this person, but there is not a new person um, coming into your life. Definitely not. Um, but you will feel some form of emptiness and it's because you have family issues that you need to heal within the issues with your mother, issues with your with your father, something in that nature. Um, you have a disconnection with the family or you have had this a disconnection with your family for some time now. And it's just weighing on you more during this time. All right, this person could want to propose to you, but I just feel like you guys will have a hard time accepting um, accepting this person in their, their offer, all right? You guys aren't going to fully want to accept this person in their offer because of some internal issues that you currently still suffer with. You guys may become quite silent during this time, right? You may not, you know, say the things that you are feeling. This may make your person feel, you know, a disconnection from you. And it's because you need to release something, all right? It has something to do with family, but it could just be the thought of family, how you wish your family was, how you wish your family would have um end it up it's something that you cannot control here it's something that you want to control but you cannot control it and it's something that has 
been getting in the way of you truly being happy. And it's something that you guys don't like to, to talk about. Or you guys could have just, you know, decided you don't want to talk about it anymore. You don't want to deal with it. But I'm seeing this being something that needs to be released because it's definitely blocking you from truly connecting with someone who wants to connect with you. All right. So that's you guys reading and I hope you guys enjoy it until next time. Hey Virgos, this is going to be your reading from the 12th through the 18th. So you guys will be focusing more on your finances. All right, you guys could have someone that you are talking to, but during this time, you guys will not really feel like in the mood to really deal with people or talk to people. <clears throat> Some of you are getting a new job or you will be getting a new schedule. I'm also getting that you guys will be receiving some type of news. So for a lot of you, if you have applied for a job, you will definitely be getting a call back soon. Um, you could have experienced issues with the person that you was that you are talking to because this person may want you to be more um, expressive with your with your emotions and you will be very distant um, from this person because you guys are so focused on your finances and that can cause a problem in your connection during this time. By the 15th though, I do see you guys coming back together and you kind of getting out of this my money, my focus type of energy. Um, you may offer to take this person somewhere because you kind of got everything together. Your mind is going to receive, you know, a peace of mind. You are going to be at peace with what is going on in your life. So you're going to be able to really enjoy your partner and take your partner um, out somewhere, somewhere that they want to go. Um, you could be telling your partner to just work with you and just give you kind of a little bit of time to kind of work things out and get things together. Um, for a lot of you, you just could have, there was something unexpected that happened here and it took your finance. So for some of you, something with your car, something with your housing situation could have happened, but you have been warned about this stuff happening already. Um, so it could have been to where your check engine light or something was on and you kind of rolled out on it. And I feel like something kind of just blew up in your face and um, kind of put you in this energy where you just want to focus on getting yourself back out of the hole. Um, and you are going to kind of cut communication off with people, all right, to about the 15th, because I feel like things are going to start to calm down for you around about the 15th, the 16th. This person is definitely going to feel like, you know, the love is unrequited. You're not paying attention to them. Um, you may stop coming home at a certain time or you're not coming in the house. You're also not going to be letting your person know what you are doing. And that's going to make this person feel like you are cheating. Um, you could also partner with the opposite sex and your person can find out about it. And they just think that you are cheating on them that you have some type of um, side piece, but I feel like that's definitely not the case. This person is just gonna need to free their mind. They're definitely thinking that you have a new lover or you could start thinking your person has a new lover due to the fact that you're not really around like that because you will be more focused on, you know, securing the bag. So you're not gonna really think about what this person kind of has going on. Um, for some of you, you may also have to take a long trip somewhere. It's going to be something very unexpected for you that you have to do. And I feel like that could definitely bother your partner because your partner wants you home. But I'm hearing your, your finances will definitely clear up, right? Um, your finances could be making you feel insecure, all right? Um,
I feel like you guys will also go back and forth with what happened in the past. If you have been cheated on, that is something that's going to play um, a major role in your life during this time. You're going to really think about that. You're going to think about what happened. Yeah, it definitely happened with someone that you considered like a soulmate. Maybe you found out this person slept with your friend or they were sleeping with their friend or something like that. I just feel like you guys are thinking about a time where you didn't have much and you felt like you you lost something or someone because you did not have much. I do not feel like this is the case. This is going to be the case. I feel like this is just your thoughts going back to the past, going back to a time where you were done wrong because of a third party. So yeah, either that is happening. I don't feel it that it's happening. I feel like this is something that has happened before. And this is something that's going to worry you um, or it's going to worry your partner. It can also be that it's going to worry the both of you because you guys could definitely be mirroring each other and you can feel like it's going to bother. I mean, it's this is what's going to happen if you do not get your stuff together if you do not provide right so whatever you feel like you have to provide and you're not providing i feel like that is going to be something that kind of caused these issues okay so that is you guys reading hope you guys enjoyed it. until next time hey capricorns so this is going to be you guys reading from the 12th through the 18th this is my second time recording this because the first time I believe I just didn't hit record. So let's get some energy for my Capricorns. I'm here in a wedding. You guys can be going to a wedding or there is something significant about a wedding. You guys could meet someone and you need to know that it is safe for you to love. Um, I do feel that you guys, with this person, <clears throat> there could be things about you that you need to let go, right? There could be something that you need to let go with this let go of control issues. Maybe you guys are trying to force this person into a, a marriage. And I don't mean like force them into a marriage, but kind of giving them an ultimatum. I really feel like you guys are trying to protect yourself with whoever this person is. This is someone new in your life. You do have romantic feelings for this person. And yes, they are your new. This is a new lover. This is a new lover that is returning back into your life. But I don't feel like it's from this life. I feel like it is from a past life that this person is coming back into your life. There can be a potential wedding for you guys within the next year or two wow just when i said that yeah you guys are thinking about getting married for some of you you are going to marry this person before a year or two and this could be why i was hearing <clears throat> a wedding so a lot of you are getting married soon okay and you may feel like this person may not want to marry you or there's something about the situation that you aren't being so optimistic about. There's something that you need to free yourself from. And it could be a situation before them, a past lover before them that you need to free yourself from, right? Release your ex because this person is coming into your life very soon. This person is already here in your life. Yeah, you guys are definitely codependent on something. And it's definitely affecting your love life, the way you love people, the way you allow people to love you. With this give your relationship a chance, forgive and forget the past. Um, because you need to give yourself a chance to love again. You need to give yourself the opportunity to welcome love into your life again. This is a love that will sustain the test of times. This is somebody that you will find a lot of healing through and with. You guys can heal each other, right? There's going to be a lot of healing that comes through. For some of you that want children, you will have children with this person. You do not need to be worried about your finances. 
<clears throat> some of you feel like your finances aren't together and you can feel like that makes you less attractive. This person is not going to care about that. Or they do not care about that. Because like I said, some of you, you already have this person in your life, right? You definitely have some type of family issues that you need to heal. And this soulmate is coming into your life to heal that with you. This person is going to bring you a lot of gifts, right? They may even um, strengthen your gifts. They may even strengthen the gifts you already have. This person is going to be very protective, right? Um, they may even be a Leo. This person is going to always watch you and watch out for you, right? <clears throat> Some of you may have father issues. This person is going to help you heal that. They may remind you of your father. They're going to definitely take extra precaution with you, all right? Um, so they can make sure they do not hurt you. They do not do anything to hurt you, all right? And potentially messed up this uh, connection. Definitely your soulmate is going to help you fix um, your family issues. You do need to know that this is the one. This is the one, the person who you are talking to, this is the one that is going to help you do that. <clears throat> I'm hearing set my heart free. So this is definitely going to be somebody who sets your heart free. You are going to feel free with this person. <clears throat> You're going to feel a lot that you've never felt before with them. You have definitely caught this person in and it could definitely be after a, a separation. All right. After you left a very lustful situation, healing family issues again. So it's here multiple times. So this could be somebody that you have a family with, that you have issues with, having multiple baby mamas, multiple baby daddies, things like that. Always trying to create a family, but never really creating that perfect family that you seen, a, a family that you wanted, a, a family that you desired. You never created that. So you guys have a lot of family issues that you have yet to let go of. But again, this person is here to help you. This person is here to heal you, all right? And you can trust them. You can have trust issues. They have been brought to your life by the divine. This is somebody you share a past life relationship with. This is somebody that you... You feel safe with, but you just you just do not feel very optimistic because you feel like, well, it's not like I haven't felt this before. You felt like you felt this feeling before, and it didn't turn out to be anything other than what it was. You getting pregnant and losing like the person. But you need to know that this is different. This is going to be a different situation. So you can be open to expressing yourself and welcoming this person into your life. You can be open to doing that. All right. You do not have to, you know. <clears throat> wow. So may just keep coming out. We're going to just keep it out because it just keeps coming out. And that's, at this point, it's like, what the heck? Um, You do not have to, to hide, right? This is somebody that you can trust. This is your true love. You are going to be forgetting and, and learning. You are going to learn why certain situations did not work out. I do see this person is going to like to splurge on you, right? They're going to like to take you places. They're going to like to um, take you out. This person is going to find you to be somebody who is like, their evil twin or um, just somebody that they can go out with, somebody they can go have fun with. They're going to see you as somebody that you can, you can, you and this person can have a lot of fun on like different levels. Like, you know, <clears throat> They see you as somebody that do not have, like, red flags that they should pay attention to. They just understand where you are coming from and why you don't trust them. 
why you may not trust them. And it's because you have a hard time accepting love for what for what it, it really is. But this is going to be your true love. And you will be learning from your past that you could trust this person. Some of you are going to have children with this person. You guys will be marrying this person. And it's after you release a situation that was very unfortunate for you. Okay. So that is what I got for you guys during this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time. Hey Aries, this will be you guys reading from the 12th through the 18th. Let's get some energy for my Aries. There's some type of uh, event you guys are going to um, during this time. You guys will be going to some type of event. Um, I do see you reconnecting with someone from your past. This could be somebody that you guys went to school with. You guys went to school with whoever this person is. I feel like whatever you had with them, it was kind of like short-lived, right? Yeah, it was short-lived due to someone feeling like the love was unrequited, right? You had passion for this person or this person had passion for you, but between the two of you, somebody felt like the love was unrequited. Not only that, because I do not feel like the love between you guys was unrequited, I feel like this person could have chosen someone over you, right? Which kind of made you feel like the love between you guys were unrequited, which it kind of was because this person could have chosen someone over you. Um, I feel like the person they chose over you is somebody that spoke up before you. They could have later went and had children with this person. Um, this is the person who you are going to reconnect with during this time. You can go to a party. It may actually be around the 17th that you guys reconnect with this person. Then as you guys can see, this could be the one and getting to know each other. You guys are going to get to know somebody that you already know. Um, if you did not go to school with this person, this is somebody's cousin. This was somebody that you used to like and whoever this is they started somewhere else all right but this is somebody that you guys will be reconnecting with right <clears throat> this is somebody that you found hard to release especially when they moved away with this honeymoon being here this person could have just, like I said, moved away. You felt spiritually connected to whoever this was. Um, this could have been a situation where, like I said, you guys started something, but it didn't really get off the ground, right? You guys could have been close to being together, close to like really hooking up, right? You guys could have been really close to hooking up, being in a relationship with one another. This person is somebody that you have been waiting for. This is somebody you really like. Oh man, you like them a lot. Like this is the person who you feel like this was true love. Like you felt like this person was true love, all right? Whatever you felt for this person, you have never felt for another person. And this is the person who is coming back in your life. For a lot of you, you kind of feel like something is about to happen. You can notice that you are starting to like feel happier you have more energy out of nowhere you just feeling this this blissful feeling like something is about to happen like you can't put your fingertips on it but you just know that something amazing is about to come into your life and it is this person all right this is somebody that you could not forget you know this is someone that brought you a lot of pain because they made you go within right? They made you go within because when this person could have rejected you, you could have felt like what was wrong with me. But this was a learning situation for you, or it has been, it has been um, a learning situation for you. This is somebody you deem as pure, like, oh my goodness, you guys have your soulmate coming in. Your, your person is coming back around. And whoever you guys currently talk to, I feel like you don't care because whoever this person is, like they mean so much to you. 
this person means a lot to you. And I feel like you guys are just going to be happy to talk to them. Like, finally, a lot of you, a lot of you are going to try to <clears throat> resist the need to tell this person everything. So a lot of you will not tell this person how you kind of felt about them leaving you. A lot of you will not tell them how hurt you were when they left you, how crazy over them that you are because this is going to be your form of control. This is how you are going to keep control of the situation. So you're not going to expose how much you feel so soon, which is actually a good thing because, you know, it's, it's to protect you, right? <clears throat> However, this person is going to know that you are extremely attracted to them. This is somebody that you just like, oh my goodness, like I can't even fully explain what you feel for this person, but it is so much love. Like you just feel like this person is so beautiful, so pure. Like this was like that high school, like uh, middle school, like crush with the big braces and stuff and maybe this person wasn't as attractive um to other people but to you this person was extremely attractive like you just feel like you love this person and you want to talk to them and you will get the opportunity to talk to whoever this person is i want to actually get you a message from this person or something but yeah, you're going to actually get to talk to whoever this person is. <clears throat> Even though we're physically, physically apart, I am always with you. So this goes back to me saying that you felt like spiritually connected to them and you did not know what it was. You just really felt very connected to whoever this person is. Or you will feel very connected, but I really feel like you guys have felt very connected to this person it's, it's like no one that has ever came into your life since this person came into your life amount to what you actually feel for them like there is nobody that make you feel how this person makes you feel or has ever came close to what you feel for them what you feel you can't even fully express nor explain you know, what you really feel for this person, but you just feel something so deep and you just see them as someone that is so pure. Like, I don't know if it's their face, their eyes. It's just the look and, and you see this person as someone so innocent. And when you see them again, you are going to still feel the same way where you just feel like this person is, oh my God, the purest thing I've ever seen. It's like you just, I don't know, you just feel like this person is the purest thing that you have ever met, the purest thing that you have ever seen. And this is such a beautiful energy. Like, I just feel like you guys are about to reunite and it's going to feel so good. <laughs> like, reunite and it feels so good. Like, you are going to feel so good about this person, right? So that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Hey Leos, this will be you guys reading from the 12th through the 18th. Let's get some energy for you guys. First thing coming out is passion um, and giving your relationship a chance. So for a lot of you, you guys are going back to an ex. You guys are going back to a baby mother or a baby father. Whoever this person is, is somebody that you feel quite irritated with. But you like, what the hell? Let's let's see where it goes. Let's let's see if if we can make something out of nothing. Because I feel like whoever this person is, you kind of get the feeling that you're not going to get much from them from them nor this situation yet you continue to still try to work on things with them this person is going to come 
into your life very soon. Not only that, I'm also getting that with this love yourself first and worth waiting for. For a lot of you, this is not the person who you will end all, like end up being with, even if this is a baby mother or a baby father. This person is somebody that just continues to do the same thing with you. So if you know that to be true, then you know that <clears throat> there is something about your worth that you need to learn because what I'm being told is more like you needing to know that you are worth more and you can wait for the, the right person rather than entertaining someone that you know isn't the right person, right? So that's why I love yourself first. Like love yourself enough to know that this person doesn't even deserve to be in your life. And if you have children with them, and they have to come around for the child. Set these boundaries so that you will not feel like this person is walking in and out of your life and they're just doing whatever and poor, poor, poor old me, right? You are allowing this person in and out of your life and then you become upset with the situation when part of the situation Part of the reason why you are in this, the situation that you are in is because you allow it to continue to happen with it, whoever this person is. For some of you, you are getting to know somebody new, all right? Artists, you have already started to talk to somebody else, but you have yet to really release this other person this new person could definitely be the one, but you have yet to really release this, this old person. And because of that, you guys are thinking about giving your baby mother, your baby father, another chance. And even if you don't have children with this person, <clears throat> there's history with them. So because of that history with this person, you, you want to give this person another chance, but you do have somebody else that is a better a better fit for you. For some of you, there can definitely be some cheating or some ghosting going on during this time. Somebody may cheat or ghost you or you may end up cheating and ghosting somebody. <clears throat> There's going to be like doubled something. Somebody is going to feel pulled in two different directions, and I feel like it's you. If it's not you, it's going to be the ex, but it's it's you. It's it's no ex. It's you. You're going to be you're going to feel pulled in two different directions, right? <clears throat> you're going to try to follow your heart, but your mind, and because of what you have with this old person, you're going to try to go back, like go back and forth between between the two of them. And I feel like you don't want this ex to know about the new person because the new person is very new and you know how this ex can act and you know how this ex can get. They may become very petty where they don't want to either watch the child. They don't want to pay, you know, child support and things like that with you. So you try to really keep the peace with whoever this is. So I feel for a lot of you, you are going to try to act the part where you act like you want this person back or you act like you want to really be with them, but you really don't, right? Because the chemistry between them is gone. And that's somebody that you you do not want to reconcile with this person. <clears throat> a lot of you, you could just feel like this person forces you into things, you know, forces themselves like onto you and, and things like that. So you're going to try to play the role. Some of you may want this person to buy some things for the baby for Christmas and stuff like that. So you are going to really try to play the role with this person. But you, and you may have to, you know, not talk to the person that you really want to talk to because this person is there. Like they're going to come around more. They're going to be around the house more and it could be because you guys have these children <clears throat> i do not feel like you guys are married to this person i feel like there is just a long 
connection, a long relationship or something between you and this with with between you and these people. And I feel like at one point in time you could have felt like this person was the one, but there was too many lies. All right, too much deceit, too too many lies, too much betrayal. And on both ends, because you could have also, you know, began to act like this. And I feel like this is old energy, but this is the stuff that is currently kind of replaying in your mind. So it's like, it's it's really, this with this express your love, express how you really feel. Do not play the role. But for a lot of you, you are going to play the role because whoever this person is, this ex, you kind of want to give them what they want so that you can get what you want. You need them to give you something and it could be for the babies or some type of money or something they have. But really, you do want to wait for for your person. You do want to wait for somebody that you you potentially want to marry. You do want to be with with someone else, a different um <clears throat> a different partner. You do. <clears throat> You do want to be with a different person, right? You want to be with your, your soulmate, but you have a person in your life that is <clears throat> burdening, burdening you with whatever you guys have going on, right? This can be, like I said, I keep feeling like it's children. And if it's not children, this is just that crazy ex that think being toxic is something cute. So this person continues to <clears throat> repeat the same patterns and you just like, this is not going nowhere. It's not going anywhere and I don't want this anymore. So you're really ready to meet somebody new. You wanna meet somebody that you do share a spiritual connection with and you wanna release this ex. You guys are ready to move on. <clears throat> from love you don't love this person like you like you used to and this person is aware that you don't love them like you used to and this is why they're trying to kind of up their game because it could have been a situation where you used to love them more than they loved you and now you don't love them anymore and they know that and they want you to love them and the problem is you just don't love them. You don't want to, you know? And I just feel like this person just won't leave you alone. And some of you, they can't because you guys have a child. So yeah, let me get one of these cards. <clears throat> so we got unjust and unre unresolved issues wholehearted meant to be <clears throat> power so it goes back to like what i was saying like you know that this person and you aren't meant to be and you know that this relationship isn't going anywhere you know your intuition is telling you that the person who is meant to be in your life is coming and, it, and you need to do 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 what you need to do to get out of this situation. And it could be a situation with somebody that you got a family with. And this person can actually like live with you. Like they may actually live in your home or they lived with you or they may need a home or something like that. You used to love this person unconditionally. You was a, a you was, <clears throat> you was abundant and you could have also just started losing your abundance by talking to them and now you are ready to listen you guys are also ready to you know write music express yourselves some of you may want to be a star or something like that and you want to just start working on yourself all right so that is what i got for you guys hope you guys enjoyed until next time hey sagittarius this is going to be you guys reading from the 12th through the 18th Let's get some energy from my Sagittarius. Um, there may be some bottled up emotions that you guys have. <clears throat> yeah, you guys have some bottled up emotions. It could be something 
from your childhood that is affecting you and it will be effect affecting you, affecting um, <clears throat> your performance at work, perfect, affecting, what the hell? <laughs> affecting um, you and your work um, area. Like it's gonna affect your work, the way you work. Um, normally you may be the person who is all jolly and things like that, but you guys' mind is going to drift to a time, a time in your past, in your childhood that brings up a lot of emotions that you have bottled up and it's as if it's ready to explode. And this is you standing in your own way. So... For a lot of you, you may miss an opportunity because you have built up emotions, things that you have yet to deal with, things that, <clears throat> for a lot of you, you feel like you forgot about it. And it's time for it to come out because it's time for you to love again or it's just time for you to find yourself find your happy place again all right <clears throat> it's time for you to find to just find whatever you are looking for and you can't find that because whatever this is it keeps trying to come up and every time it tries to come up you you push it back down <clears throat> you push it back down and you do, you don't give it the opportunity to, to separate from from your life right Whatever this is, you're not giving it the opportunity to separate from your life. From your life, it could actually be an actual separation, right? Could actually be that um, you went through a situation where you felt that between you and this person, you felt that something was wrong with you because they were not loving you properly. This could have been a parent, or this could actually been an ex that you were with. This have affected your performance. And <laughs> this have affected your performance in love. The way you get to know people, the way you, um, uh, like how much you tell, how much you keep to yourself. You are noticing that it is affecting a connection that you actually care about. So for some of you, you have a person here that you actually care about and this person requires you to express yourself this person requires that you expose certain things about yourself that you refuse to expose but you know if you do not say it if you do not express yourself how you are supposed to express yourself then you know that this relationship could possibly end this is someone that you feel understands you, but there's some area in your life that this person isn't understanding. Something isn't clicking between the two of you. And I feel that it's because you have this hurdle and in order for you to get over it, you have to deal with it. So this person, this soulmate has been placed in your life to give you that push because whoever this is you deem them as worthy you deem this person as somebody that is worthy of you taking the extra steps going the extra mile for them but this extra mile that you must take is so uncomfortable to you so uncomfortable and it has a lot to do with how you were loved in 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 a past life for some of you and how you were loved currently in this life with people and ex parents friends people who you felt left you let you down made you feel that you were not worthy of love you're not worthy of true true pure love you're not worthy of that these people made you feel like that Whoever this person is, though, like I said, you feel like this person is so worth it. So you're going to do what you have to do and you're going to try to keep an open mind. 
I'm getting that this is also an ex. Like, this is an ex of yours that that made you feel this way with codependency being here. You were so codependent on the need to be validated by whoever this this other person was. And whoever this soulmate is now, you could compare the two. And although you are telling yourself, okay, this person is nothing like my ex. This person isn't giving me any signs that they will hurt me. It's still something in the back of your mind that tells you, don't be a fool. You cannot open up to this person. But you're only lying to yourself because in real reality, you know you should go and take the extra, like, you know, go the extra mile. And you know you should express how you feel. You know you should do that for this person because you know that they need it. Whoever this person is, you feel them on a soul level so you know that they need that validation from you like you needed it from this other person. So this is something that you want to give them, right? They want that heart to heart with you. This is talking about something that you, <coughs> you would prefer not to ever speak of. This could even be you talking about that person who you were with before that person who made you feel less in in low this is talking about that person maybe this person wants to know about this person because this person your your new person they're aware that something is bothering my i was about to say capricorn some of you may be talking to a capricorn but something is bothering my sag right they're like something is something is really going on with my sag right now what is going on with my sag like my sag isn't as happy as my sag normally be what has happened to you what is wrong with you what 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 can i do let's talk about it this person loves to talk about things um and kind of work through things and <laughs> i feel like this is somebody that you have been waiting for and they want you to talk about it. What's wrong, Sag? What is wrong with my Sag? And this is someone that you you feel safe with, but whatever this is that you have been holding on to, it's hard. And, and it's letting this person get to know the real you, right? <clears throat> you need to free yourself. You see that? Free yourself in separation. You need to... Free yourself from whatever is separating you from finding your, your happy place, finding that bliss, finding your happy place. So for a lot of you, you know, you have to allow this person to get to know you on a deeper level, maybe on a level that you don't even know yourself, right? But they want to know you. So you got to allow this person to get to know you on that deeper level. And for a lot of you, I'm like, you don't, you like, I don't, I don't want to, but I want to, for you, I want to, right? So that's you guys reading. That's what I got for you guys. Beautiful read. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Hey, Capricorns. So, this is going to be you guys reading from the 12th through the 18th. This is my second time recording this because the first time, I believe, I just didn't hit record. So, let's get some energy for my Capricorns. I'm here in a wedding. You guys can be going to a wedding or there is something significant about a wedding. You guys could meet someone and you need to know that it is safe for you to love. Um, I do feel that you guys with this person, <clears throat> there could be things about you that you need to let go, right? There could be something that you need to let go with this let go of control issues. Maybe you guys are trying to force this person into a, a marriage. 
And I don't mean like force them into a marriage, but kind of giving them an ultimatum. I really feel like you guys are trying to protect yourself with whoever this person is. This is someone new in your life. You do have romantic feelings for this person. And yes, they are your new, this is a new lover. This is a new lover that is returning back into your life, but I don't feel like it's from this life. I feel like it is from a past life that this person is coming back into your life. There can be a potential wedding for you guys within the next year or two. Wow. Just when I said that, yeah, you guys are thinking about getting married. For some of you, you are going to marry this person before a year or two. And this could be why I was hearing <clears throat> a wedding. So a lot of you are getting married soon, okay? And you may feel like this person may not want to marry you or there's something about the situation that you aren't being so optimistic about. There's something that you need to free yourself from. And it could be a situation before them, a past lover before them that you need to free yourself from, right? Release your ex because this person is coming into your life very soon. This person is already here in your life. Yeah, you guys are definitely codependent on something and it's definitely affecting your love life, the way you love people, the way you allow people to love you. With this give your relationship a chance, forgive and forget the past. Um, because you need to give yourself a chance to love again. You need to give yourself the opportunity to welcome love into your life again. This is a love that will sustain the test of times. This is somebody that you will find a lot of healing through and with. You guys can heal each other, right? There's going to be a lot of healing that comes through for some of you that want to children you will have children with this person you do not need to be worried about your finances <clears throat> some of you feel like your finances aren't together and you can feel like that makes you less attractive this person is not going to care about that or they do not care about that because like i said some of you you already have this person in your life right you definitely have some type of family issues that you need to heal. And this soulmate is coming into your life to heal that with you. This person is going to bring you a lot of gifts, right? They may even um, strengthen your gifts. They may even strengthen the gifts you already have. This person is going to be very protective, right? Um, they may even be a Leo. This person is going to always watch you and watch out for you, right? <clears throat> some of you may have father issues this person is going to help you heal that they may remind you of your father they're going to definitely take extra precaution with you all right um so they can make sure they do not hurt you they do not do anything to hurt you all right and potentially messed up this uh connection Definitely your soulmate is going to help you fix um, your family issues. You do need to know that this is the one. This is the one, the person who you are talking to. This is the one that is going to help you do that. <clears throat> I'm hearing set my heart free. So this is definitely going to be somebody who sets your heart free. You are going to feel free with this person. You're going to feel a lot that you've never felt before with them. You have definitely caught this person in, and it could definitely be after a, a separation, all right? After you left a very lustful situation, healing family issues again. So it's here multiple times. So this could be somebody that you have a family with, that you have issues with, having multiple baby mamas, multiple baby daddies, things like that. Always trying to create a family, but never really creating that perfect family that you seen, a, a family that you wanted, a, a family that you desired. You never created that. So you guys have a lot of family issues that you have yet to let go of.
But again, this person is here to help you. This person is here to heal you, all right? And you can trust them. You can have trust issues. They have been brought to your life by the divine. This is somebody you share a past life relationship with. This is somebody that you, you feel safe with, but you just, you just do not feel very optimistic because you feel like, well, it's not like I haven't felt this before. You felt like you felt this feeling before and it didn't turn out to be anything other than what it was you getting pregnant and losing like the person but you need to know that this is different this is going to be a different situation so you can be open to expressing yourself and welcoming this person into your life you can be open to doing that all right you do not have to you know <clears throat> wow soulmate just keep coming out we're gonna just keep it out because it just keeps coming out and that's at this point it's like what the heck um you do not have to to hide right this is somebody that you can trust this is your true love you are going to be forgetting and, and learning you are going to learn why certain situations did not work out i do see this person is going to like to splurge on you right they're going to like to take you places they're going to like to um take you out this person is going to find you to be somebody who is like their evil twin or um, just somebody that they can go out with, somebody they can go have fun with. They're going to see you as somebody that you can, you can, you and this person can have a lot of fun on like different levels. Like, you know, <clears throat> They see you as somebody that do not have, like, red flags that they should pay attention to. They just understand where you are coming from and why you don't trust them. Why you may not trust them. And it's because you have a hard time accepting love for what, for what it, it really is. But this is going to be your true love. And you will be learning from your past that you could trust this person. Some of you are going to have children with this person. You guys will be marrying this person. And it's after you release a situation that was very unfortunate for you, okay? So that is what I got for you guys during this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time.